don't get caught off guard by a surprise exam from the VA looking to reduce your VA rating. It happens. And especially with so much turmoil going on with the VA funding budget, look for these type of things to potentially even ramp up further. Today, I'm going to make sure that you're well equipped to where you can keep your rating or even have a chance at increase your rating provided they start doing this at a higher rate. I'm Jordan Anderson with VA Claims Academy. Let's get into these tips. So some of you may know that if your VA disability rating or even on a condition by condition basis, you'll see in your decision letter, or if you log into maybe e-benefits, you'll see you have static conditions and then you have other conditions which are not labeled as static. Now a static condition is exactly what it, it says, right? So it won't change. The VA will not sort of re, uh, reapproach that rating. They won't look to decrease you in the future. However, any other condition, if you're not 100% permanent in total, that is not labeled as static is something that could be reevaluated even on a surprise basis. And a lot of veterans get caught off guard where they have their 90% rating, they've had it for maybe four years and haven't been going to the doctor and out of the blue, they get a call from the CNP examiners, usually a contractor, right? VES, uh, QTC, and they have an appointment for the next week and they're scrambling. This is a nightmare scenario. You do not want to be caught off guard by this. So here's what you do to avoid that situation. The most important thing is to maintain your treatment. So if you have a bad back, uh, let's say you have, you know, bad knees, or if you have a mental condition, especially because that's often your most high value rating, right? Your most high value condition, check in with the doctor, check in, make it a point to go every quarter, at least right. Every three months, go to your VA doctor, or if you're absolutely opposed to going to the doctor, this is what I tell a lot of clients to do, go log into my health evet. I'll leave a link in the description below log into your portal, sign in, and at least send a secure message to your provider, letting them know, hey, I'm checking in here. I'm still dealing with these migraines. Uh, do you think that you know, I can get some prescription for this? Or I'm still dealing with these anxiety, depression-like symptoms. I'm trying to go to yoga on my off time, or I'm trying to you know, uh, exercise more to try to take care of this. But check in on paper because that, those secure messages, believe it or not, go directly into your medical file. So this just 15 minutes can save your rating. It's so important, but set a timer, set your calendar, check in on paper to your doctor to get treated at least every three months to maintain this rating. The last thing you want to do is get your rating decreased. So many veterans get used to that quality of life. Grocery prices are going up and they're caught off guard and flat footed by the surprise examinations. Now, how often could these take place? Typically, I've seen the VA reapproach after about five years. About the five year mark, if you have a rating and you're sitting there right now and you realize, hey, you know what? I haven't actually been to the doctor much since I got this rating and I'm coming up on four, three, four, five years. This is a red flag to you. Be prepared for it. I'll give you this example. Let's say that I'm a football player, I'm a lineman, right? Anytime you want to engage, you know, the other lineman, what happens if I'm standing straight up and that lineman's in a stance ready to go pounce? I'm going to get pancakes. That is exactly what happens when either you go try to apply for an increase and you don't have the defensive posture, or you are just simply trying to ride out your rating and you're not ready. If you're sitting there complacent. That's how you get pancaked in the VA rating world. So please, my final plea to you, keep going to the doctor get seen, especially for your highest value conditions. And that's also a great way to make sure that you're in that stance, ready to attack your increase in the near future. I hope this helped you out. Hit the like button. If it did definitely share this with someone who needs it. Don't let your battle buddies, don't let your fellow veterans get caught off guard. Otherwise I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.